In this video, we'll take a look at the new link between RISA Connection and Hilti Profis Engineering which provides engineers the ability to do concrete anchorage design for column base plates. So here in Risa Connection, we can see we've already designed the superstructure model. Uh, I brought all of these base plate connections in from Risa 3D. And the first thing I want to do is go ahead and solve the entire project. So I'm just going to click Solve Project. So we've gone through and we've solved the entire project. We can see that in our Project Explorer, all the limit states have passed, so we don't have any issues in this case. Now, if we wanted to, we could go ahead and open up one of the groups and then open up one of the connections to see exactly what we have here. So in this case, I have a wide flange column with a six bolt connection uh, for our base plate. We could go ahead and look in our properties here to see that we have load combinations that are being brought over. So in this case, the controlling load combination is load combination 11 from Risa 3D from IBC 16-6. But We can also see we have the rest of the combinations as well. And all these combinations uh, will be transferred into Hilti Profis Engineering. We can also see that the corresponding loads, so the axial, strong axis, weak axis shear, and also strong axis and weak axis moments are also here for this loading. And again, this will be sent into Hilti Profis Engineering as well. Additionally, all the component information that we set, our column section, our base plate size, even our concrete kind of foundation size, all that information will be sent to Hilti Profis Engineering so that that can be incorporated into the anchorage design. Now when we're ready to do the anchorage design and transfer our base plate connections to Hilti Profis Engineering, I'm going to navigate up into the toolbar to the tools section where I have my export to Profis button. Now you'll notice that this link actually exists directly within Risa Connection, meaning that there's nothing additional that you need to install in order to send the connections to Profis Engineering. To start this process, I'm just going to go ahead and click Export to Profis. And then I'm going to be presented with this export to Profis dialog, and I can choose multiple connections, multiple single column base plate connections that I want to export. So in this case, I'm going to choose to export one of the wide flange connections and then also one of my uh, tube connections. And when I'm ready, I'm going to click export. Now during this process, Hilti Profis is going to authorize my login. So if you haven't logged in the first time, it may prompt you to log in. I've already logged in in this case. And so it successfully uploads the two connections to Hilti Profis Engineering. I can click OK, and then I'm going to go ahead and open up my web interface. And when I open up my web interface, we can see automatically that I have an update. Hilti Profis Engineering is telling me that I have new connections available from Risa, so I'm going to click OK. And then here in the File Import section, you can see that I have those two same connections that I can go ahead and now review for Anchorage Design. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this 3-B connection. This is that wide flange connection. I'll say Click to Update. And then I'll click No here, and then we can see this entire connection. Now all of the information, including the, the spacing of the bolts and the size of the, the base plate and, and the column information is all obviously available here, and we can see that data. We could also change it, but we don't. Obviously, we've set that information in Risa Connection. We can also see the loading information that's included. And in addition, we can also see all of the load combination information that we're bringing from Risa 3D. So you can see that label based on how we had it set in Risa 3D, and then therefore how we had it set in Risa Connection, along with all of the forces as well. So the shear forces, the axial forces, and the moments, and also the utilization here. So if I go ahead and choose this button over here in the messages to update to decisive, we're going to see this controlling combination here. So we have a combination of 97% uh, tension here. So we've got 97% utilization in concrete breakout, and then 47% utilization here in concrete edge breakout, which gives us our, our kind of combined uh, worst case at 119%. Now this means that we need to make some changes to the anchorage here. So I'm actually going to go ahead and click on the anchor tab, and I'm just going to change the embedment depth here. So I'm going to change this to 9 inches, and then as it updates, we can see that we now have lowered our uh, tension unity and for concrete breakout and also lowered our concrete edge breakout for shear, which gives us a much lower combined result. So in this case, you know, we could go ahead and do some more design, we could pick some more information, or if we're ready, we can go ahead and transfer this data back to Risa Connection. Now we can always just create a report here, so I could just click here to create a PDF report. But in this case, I'm going to go over here into the calculation tab and choose the export to Risa button. Now when I click this, this is actually going to 
uh, create a report that I'm going to generate and automatically export that PDF report into Teresa Connection so that I can include it with my steel base plate connection report um, in my report. So in this case, I'll click Export to Teresa. It's going to go ahead and tell me that the report has been generated. So the design file has been successfully generated and exported to Teresa. I'll click OK. I'm going to go back into Teresa Connection. And then from Risa Connection, I can go ahead and click Import Profits Results. Before I do that, though, I want to come to File and Application Settings. And if I click on the Hilti Profits tab, we'll see this is the, the path, the folder location, where all Hilti Profits result files are located. And so you can change this folder, but this is the default folder um, in the Risa installation file. So if I go ahead and cancel this out, and then I click Import Profits Results, we'll go ahead and get those results from Hilti Profits Engineering. And then if I go ahead to print my report, I now have those available reports right here as PDFs. So if I choose that report here, that was that export to Profis 3-B, I can go ahead and add that to my report, and I could create and generate a PDF so that I can look at all this information in the same interface. So I have my steel detailing, or excuse me, I have my steel base plate report, as well as my Anchorage report. For more information about Risa Connection and the integration with Hilti Profis Engineering, visit risa.com.